back to the channel we are in beautiful Canada right now up in Ontario but we have traveled over a thousand miles to get up here this is the longest I've ever traveled on four wheels to go fishing anywhere and we're gonna be staying at a true fish camp cabin this week it's been a few years since I've been up here and it's like it hasn't changed at all these beautiful birch trees the evergreens we got the log cabin back here. It's just an awesome place to enjoy a golden crispy. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing in today's video, y'all. I have not experienced the taste of a, a fresh caught walleye in so long, and they are so good. Uh, that is how we're gonna kick it off. There's a lot of other species that, to tackle up here, and you know we're gonna be going after those beautiful bronze backs those slime rockets we call the Northern Pike, but we gotta kick it off right with the number one targeted species up here on Rainy Lake, and that is the walleye. And we have been in the truck for the last 48 hours, y'all, so let's stretch our legs, let's head over here to the cabin, let me show you around the digs. All right, this is what is known as the Possum Lodge, and my dad's buddy, this is like a family cabin that they've had for over 20 years, decades and decades, and they've been coming up here every year bringing their boys fishing. It's like a father-son deal this time of year. So this is the screened-in porch area. And let me tell you something, you gotta have it screened in because the bugs are so insane. You do not want to walk outside at a low light hour. Mosquitoes will trash you. They've got midges, black flies, you name it. It's pretty bad. They've got bears, all that kind of stuff around here. There's even timber wolves hanging around. So good to have a little cabin for some safety. You could even do some grilling out here in the screened in porch. And this is where a lot of the trash talking takes place here at this table, telling fishing stories from the lake. And you know, we got lots of fridges full of walleye and cold beer. And that's what I'm talking about. Now we head on in here in the kitchen. That's my dad's buddy's Brett right there. He's gonna be dangling with us. How many smallmouth have you caught? Uh, zero that I know of. Oh, right we're gonna now. have a good time. You guys know LFD, LFD long travel. Yes. Long Two travel days. experience. So, and you've done it every year. This is my first time driving. So. Yeah, I normally pick you up at the airport, and uh, you know, you got the experience of the two day. Or I decided to rough it with you, and it's a you know, it's an extra bond. We'll just say that extra bond. So, this is kind of the common area. We got a picture of your boy right here. This is my biggest pike ever, guys. This is my PB. That is a 42 inch pike. Hopefully we're gonna be breaking that this week, but that's gonna be a challenge right there. And throughout the cabin, y'all, there's just pictures of everyone that has caught some mondos and tinies, you know, just, just fun to take pictures and hang them up at the cabin from years of dangling up here. And we got some cool old topo maps, sit around here, talk about the game plan, where you're gonna go. This is the bunk space. It's where you get your sleep on, nothing special. There's no heat in here, so we carry our sleeping bags and it's like deer camp, you know, it's fish camp. So there's not too much going on there at the cabin, you know? It's eat, sleep, cracking cold pops, enjoying those golden crispies. That's, that's about all you need to do up here. But in order to get there, we gotta clean those fish and this is the cleaning shed. Again, it's screened in for good reason. So come here in the evenings, We'll clean our fish up, and then uh, we'll be able to take them in. You run inside, <gasps> escape the mosquitoes, my goodness. And then, of course, you've got the ambiance, y'all. The birds chirping, you know, you got the birch tree leaves flapping in the wind, and you got the beautiful bark on the birches, the smells, oh man, it's just so nice. We're gonna hit the lake in the morning. We're gonna rest up tonight, get some meals, you know, stretch our legs a little bit, get warmed up for jerking on them and I will see you guys in the AM. And we're gonna get some walleyes on the line. Oh yeah, boys, let's go give her a dangle. Good morning. Going after the walleye today, guys. So we've got our little boat here, we're renting out. We actually had a couple last night in 
cakes in cake form. They were amazing. The lake is beautiful. Sun comes up here about 4.30 a.m. Sets about 10.30. So we got plenty of daylight, plenty of opportunities to go catch these fish. We're gonna see what, the, what kind of techniques are gonna happen. We got a buddy up here that does this quite a bit, but I wanna experiment a little bit myself. He's gonna meet up with us here in a few hours. Let's go see if we can figure this stuff out, guys. Up here, north of the wall, get these golden crispies. We've got GPS. We're good to go there. I forgot my Garmin's. Thank you, Lord. We got that, because you will get your ass lost up here with all these islands. Just talked to a fishing freak back here, Greg. Uh, he's actually a guide, and he gave us a little intel, so that's nice. And it sounds like we're gonna be doing doing uh, darts on jig heads around the points. Dad, will you uh, untie the vessel and we'll get her popping here? Look at that. That's you like that move? getting up there. Double time, Skipper, let's go. See you, Greg. Here we go, boys. at our first spot. I haven't even tied on yet. What's going on up there up front, Skipper? Trolling motor problems. How do you engage? How about this lever right You need some help? Like two monkeys humping a trolling motor. You know what I mean? This is just good entertainment right yeah, here. Right here. We're just going to cut this motor off. And There's nothing like being entertaining. See if a couple of noobs can uh, figure out the trolling motor situation. Right, it's, it's, you say anything? I'm going to glasses. You th are you thinking this is an electric? It's just going to drop down? Yeah. Negative, sir. Be, Brett, be careful putting your I, hand on Yeah, around. I will. I'm, I'm not going to bite blades. If you hit, I don't if you hit the, uh, the pedal by accident, the thing, uh, thing will spin around there and cut your fingers off. <laughs> <laughs> Might see a finger get chopped off right here. No, I don't think we're going to lose careful, a finger, Cole, but we are losing some dignity. <laughs> yeah. Should probably help them. <laughs> All right, troll motor deployed. What is this you got in here? It's a first aid, Guggen first aid. Yeah, that's uh, that's a new one. Is that yeah, a prototype? No, <laughs> no. I was going to say a Guggen first aid kit is probably a very viable thing that should be in most Guggen weeks. All right guys, we're going to tie on a little jig head and we're gonna put a dart on there. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah. We got some jerkies, we got top waters in there. I think we're gonna hold off on that for the walleye today. It's gonna be more of a small mouth pike mode. I'm praying that I do not leave my other big tackle bag right now. We are good. We are good. Don't worry. Don't worry. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna try one of these new babies right here. It's kind of swivel heads. Five inch dart. Thread this baby on here. Dad is running the troll motor right now, doing an excellent job. It right there, boys. We got 15 on here. That's probably a little strong. I may need to downsize significantly, but we'll just we'll stay Texas. We'll stay Lone Star mode for a minute. This little jig head is pretty cool because it has a swivel on the top, so it allows it to just freely twist, you know, it won't twist up your line, at least I hope not, I don't know, just thought it was kind of a cool, cool little design. So the walleye, I would say similar to a, a sluggish crappie, they like that slow presentation, I'm just going to do little slow lifts here on this drift, trying to hit some points coming out of some spawning bays, these aren't very big right here, but it just kind of looked good. Everything looks good out here, quite honestly, but 
thought we would start right here. Ooh, we got a walleye on the graph, 15 foot. Marked him. Marked him. We're gonna go right over him here. Here we go. Oh, I hit a hit. You got a bump him. on the bottom. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're hooked up, boys. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's a smallmouth, actually. It's a smallmouth. Oh, God. Thought I saw a walleye for a second. It's either a big walleye or it's a strong smallmouth. It's a smallmouth. Look at that chunk wad right there, y'all. He just engulfed it. And he's got crawfish in his mouth. Looks like, yeah. He had a crawfish pincher in there. But he wanted that. Woo! Chunky butt. And man, what a fight. I'll take it. My dad and Brent just jumped in with our buddy. One small mouth in the boat, but we're going for them golden crispies. So we're ripping to a walleye spot, boys. Alrighty guys, this looks really good. There's some big boulders right here. We may run into some bronze backs, but I'm gonna just throw this jig head out. Let it kind of swing. I'm just gonna watch my line for when it's hitting the bottom. I don't want it to sit there for too long because all these rocks can get snagged. But I gotta keep it pretty slow for the walleye. Oh, we're on, boys. Right. We're on. It's probably going to be a small now. Right on a boulder. Here he comes. Oh, yeah, boys. See that bait he spit up? Dad's on. Look at that double up, baby. We are going to catch some of these right here. But it's a fun process. And this is... You know, probably average size right here, y'all. And this fish does not look big, but I'm telling you, they are very, very dense. Tiny, tiny mouth. Two and a half, three pounders all day. Walleye on? What'd you, what'd you get it on? On the uh, lipless? Yeah. It's looking like a sock. Yep. Come on, Dad. Got some to it. Come on, baby. Let's go. You need a net? Probably. Big one or the little one? Get it, Brett. Got it. It's a walleye. It's a good one. Come on, baby. Let's go. Don't lose him now. Bring him up. There you go. Hey, hey. Go, baby. Yes. That's a nice walleye. It Let's is. see if it's uh, 17. I think it's probably 18. It is 21. Yep, 21. Too big. Yeah. Too big, but a good specimen. Nice, juicy. One. Sign Dude. of life. Could be the one. We're hooked up, boys. We're hooked up, Dad. Got to keep her walleye. Net me up. Wet sock coming in, baby. That's a. That's gonna be a keeper. I feel. I feel good about it. Come on now. Yeah. On a point. All right. 
I mean, come on now. He was suckling on it. He was suckling on it for a minute. Yeah, yeah, we got to measure this puppy. All right. Moment of truth. Come on. That is under... Wait, wait, what's the... 17 and a half, isn't it? 17, 17 and a half. We are at 17 and a quarter. Hallelujah. Don't get any better than that, do you? Don't let him out. All right. Yeah, this is it. Hey boys, hey, I'm contributing. So I got that on five inch dart with a little jig head. I was literally out in front of the boat and just felt a couple little taps, started running, pulled on into them. So fishing that's slow is the key. Yeah, it was pretty slow. Unfortunately, pretty slow. Hey boys, we got one in the box. What? Yeah. Got one <laughs> Hooked up on a sock. Blade bait. Come on, baby. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks like a keeper. Come on. Come on, Saki. Oh, that might be too big. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just right. I think he's gonna be just right. I'm seeing 17 and a half. I yes, know, sir. Come on now. 17 and a half. I mean, he is 17 and a half. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Made a switch. Went to the old blade bait. Make this in a perch color that I haven't used for bass. So I said, you know what? I'm up here. I got perch. I'm gonna throw that perch color and kept it in that 15 foot, just stroking it. Wah bam. Had to go for a reaction bite because the, uh, the old drop shot and the jig head with the dart just going so slow. Our buddies got night crawlers, they're smashing them on the crawlers, but they were wanting that live bait. Yeah. There we go. Right on the bottom. Hooked up, baby. No one. This feels like a good one, though. Feels like a big one. This, this one's definitely going to be over the slot. Right there in that 15 foot. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Ooh. Definitely over. That's a pretty fun little bite when they smash a little blade bait. Oh, he's got it. Got it too. Yeah, buddy. Look at that walleye. Yes, sir. A little bait switch. Getting her done. Not used to dealing with the teeth. Woo, baby. That guy absolutely smashed it. Let's see how long he is, just for curiosity. That is a 20 and a half. 20 and a half entry. We'll let you go, bud. Let you go. Hardest fighting wall I've ever had. That one was almost vertical. I was getting close to the boat. I thought I had a bite. I just kind of kept lifting it. And so blade bait might be the key. Are you hooked up? You know, if I am, it is a big sock. I don't sock. think so. I think you're on a rock. Think on a rock, it, feel, it felt like at first, but it's okay. Dad's hooked up on another one. What do you, what, what'd you get it on? I got it on a- On the clutch? Yeah. Dad's hooked up on a clutch. That's probably a keeper. Looks like a keeper. Hope so. Oh yeah, no, 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 don't get off. Come here, baby. Yeah, there you go, dad. That, I think that one's gonna be like 16, probably. Perfect size. Woo, baby. All right, guys, we've switched gears. Dad put on a clutch. It's actually what you got your first bite on. And then we've been dragging plastics. 
but it seems like the uh, the reaction bite is much much better. Need some pliers. Jeez, they just don't fight hard. But I don't know the reaction bite. This is probably the most fun I've had walleye fishing. You know, usually it's like trolling or just going real slow. You're sitting there and. I've always just caught them dragging plastics, but this right here, reaction bait, that's pretty fun. We're gonna roll in here and try to catch, just just for fun fish now that we have our limit, we're gonna just try to get some big ones, you know? I've never caught one. The, the one I just caught it was probably the biggest one I've ever caught. I've maybe caught one around there, but like a 25 would be huge for me. And they have caught a couple of 27s today, 28. So there's some bigs in here. All right, you ready? Let's get her going, 14 foot. All right, we got a little island, some weeds, 14 foot. It's a little spot that's kind of flat. Stopping point, post spawn. I got him. There we go, boys, hooked up. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a keeper too. 14 incher. Not today. I got him, Dad. Hey, a little little change in the bait though. Getting lots more bites. Lots more bites. I'm just lifting this with my rod tip a little bit, trying to keep about eight inches to a foot off the bottom. Oh, looks like we got, oh, I got a tiny one. Got me a perch. Perch, there you go. perch boys. That will eat good. I, that's literally a perch on a perch lure. That's pretty cool. Yeah. No need to eat perch when you got walleye. Pretty cool though. Both in the same family, walleye and perch. Got him. Net it. Alrighty, y'all. There's another nice walleye on the blade bait. Let it go. That's it right there. That little buddy. What you got there, Pop? I'm not sure. Pretty good size. It's fine, good. Oh my god, I think that's a giant walleye. Oh my god. God, dog. <laughs> That's an awesome right That's there. a beast. Oh, it is a beast. Jeez. Woo. I like pink. Yeah. That's a huge one. Oh my gosh, this thing is. This is a giant, Dad. Holy. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> look at this Woo! one. Oh my god. <laughs> Dad, that thing is huge! Oh, Holy God. cow, that is a monster! Look at that thing! Dude! Woo! Dude, oh, now oh, that oh. is a walleye. Oh, God. Careful. Yeah. Got him? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's Woo. as big as a pike, Dad. Oh, that my thing. gosh. Hold that thing up. Well, I gotta get a grip on it. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two. Gum, that's a giant. Got him on the blade bait. Pink. Oh, he hit it when it, when it, I like, bet he knocked the tar he off. He did. Of it. I was like, what the hell? That's, oh my God, 27 and a half, dad. Wow. 27 and a half inches long. That was awesome. Look at the teeth on that thing. That thing is gnarly. So gnarly. Cool, let him go. Now that's a walleye. See you, fella. Boom.
Bye. Thank you. Hey, man. Woo. That's something to brag about tonight. <coughs> That's going to be a McGillicuddy's. <laughs> a McGillicuddy, there That's you go. That's going to be a picture on the wall. He let it go dropped all the way to the bottom. I picked it up one time and it's bam. And I thought. Smoked it. That, that didn't feel like a small fish. I, mean, I thought, am I hung on a rock? And then it started to move. <laughs> now that is worth fishing for. And he caught it on a lure, not bottom bouncing, not trolling. Caught it on a lure, a blade bait. That is so awesome. All right, boys, we are going to end the day on that, on a strong note. Check them out here, boys. Wah, bam. All right, so we got three of these. We're gonna clean them up. Stay alive in here for two days, as long as you keep it clean and cold. You know, once you take them out of the flat. But I clean them at night and then in the mornings. And never put them back in the flat. It seems like right. when you put worms that you've had out of the flat back in, it kills the others. Okay, all right. So a little live worming tip. <laughs> That's right. Here with uh, Almighty Ted. Cleaning the worms. Spray, I've never seen that in my life. You gotta keep them clean so you can reuse keep. them, extend their life. Pristine crawlers. All right, and he's also gonna show us how to properly fillet a walleye. Totally boneless, easy peasy. We're gonna learn, we're gonna learn together. Let's do it, okay. let's do it. In with the electric, just behind the girl. There it is. Drop the side off. Get as close to the spine as you can. Look at that. That's a joke. That's a over. Yeah, good looking meat. Pure white. Yeah, rip edge out. Rip the edge out. Nicely done. Better a little bit there. Yeah. And there, I was think I would think there'd be no bones. Yeah, right there. There is no bone. Oh, there is no bone. No bone. This bone is not. Yeah. All done with. That side is done. What I like to do. If you're gonna eat them, which we plan on eating these for sure lunch tomorrow. Oof. So then the next step that I do, I like to take the blood vein out. Take so the blood I'm, gonna, vein out. I'm gonna zipper it. Then we're gonna keep the lower part, which is pure vein. Okay. Alright. Zipper it. Bloodline. Yep. I'm gonna rip that out of there. Oh no, that's a, get, okay. Alright. Get two, this is the waste. You got it, you got it. Okay. A bloodline for me, like catching them back home, fish back home, way more red than that. That right there, that little trick, they hardly took out any meat. It was just the, just that red part. We call it zippery. Okay. Beautiful. No, bo no bones. Magnificent. Perfect. Magnificent. All right, y'all, fish are cleaned. That zipper trick was pretty cool that Ted showed us. I'm gonna try that on some white bass and some other fish when I get home, just to take that bloodline out and also remove some bones, which is it's a real neat trick, how it just pulls apart like that. Now, we could go cook these walleye up in the cabin right now. It's a good spot, it's good ambiance, but to do this proper, a true north of the wall, golden crispy walleye catch and cook, we're gonna be heading out to an island. So let's get back in the boat, let's get on shore, and enjoy a nice walleye shore lunch. There we go, LFD anchoring us. Look at that, he's, he's still got it. We are now on an island, literally in the middle of nowhere. And it's time for shore lunch. Well, one of the things I packed before I left, because I knew we'd probably run into one of these situations, is a little fire kit slash you know, survival kit if I need it. Got paracord in here. Got a small little bushcraft knife. Doing some batoning. And then something I always carry with me when I need a fire quick is cotton balls and Vaseline. Now the reason we want a fire, not, not for cooking, we actually have a burner. It's just to keep the bugs away. The bugs are so insane up here. Captain Ted's been here before. This is uh, my favorite shore lunch spot on the whole lake. And you have got, I, this table was just here. It was just here, built in, fire pits here. So we bring another table, 
you got the classic Coleman, and this is full of this. This pan is amazing. This cast yeah. iron, cast big iron boy. Pan. Not sure they make them like that anymore. Yeah. And we got the potatoes. beans rolling. Look at this pre microwave cooked potatoes. Look at those fresh walleye right there. We just cleaned those. A little bacon, a little onion. Bad guy. <laughs> yes, sir. Can I tell them about your special connection here to your ashes? Okay. This place is what's well, special to me and my dad. And Ted introduced us to this place. But this specific spot, he's had so many peaceful shore lunches, enjoying, enjoying the Canadian wilderness in his will. Ashes to be buried right here. That's pretty cool, y'all. And you could literally catch smallmouth right off this island. Have a walleye for lunch. Enjoy a campfire. Listen to the loons. I'd say it's a pretty good spot to be put to rest. LFD hooked up. Let's see what you got here. Oh. Pike. Gotcha. So gorgeous out here, y'all. Boys, here it is. Delicious cuts. Going in, we're gonna shake and bake. About a dozen nuggets at a time. Put too many in there and they don't thoroughly coat. Well, have a good balance. And how many catch and cooks have you experienced on this Coleman, do you think? If you had to put a number on it. Well over a hundred. <laughs> That's OG right there. That's OG cat, catch and cook, cat and dead. <laughs> yeah, didn't that is? Oh yeah. When they're floating, yeah. they're done. Right. That is manna from heaven right there. Look at the color. Truly a golden crystal. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is it right here. We've gone above and beyond with this catch and cook. Now, customarily, up here in the north, when you're north of the wall, you put your beans over your taters. All right, so if you're up here, you put those beans, put the taters on, then you pour the beans over the top, and let me tell you, it is a special little combo by itself. But the main attraction, this walleye is falling apart. It's falling apart in the hand. Got a little bit of Texas peat on there. A magnificent Golden Crispy by Captain Ted. This is incredibly well done. I mean, just perfect look. It's magazine cover worthy. That's a money shot, Ted. Did you? That's a money <laughs> shot right there. I love it. <laughs> Not only is that picture perfect, but holy cow. Knowing someone like Justin's had quality experience. I've eaten a lot of fish, Ted. <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> this up here, I look forward to it because it is the best tasting fish on earth, in my opinion. <laughs> That's awesome. You said last night that you liked this better than the crab cakes. Oh, yeah. Cakes. Oh, yeah. No, the, the walleye cakes were fantastic, but <laughs> Golden Crispy, yep. the Golden Crispy of the North, okay? <laughs> there ain't nothing better. So if you guys live up here and you're not eating these things, shame on you. Done a lot of catch and cooks in my day. This, the best, the best. I mean, the fish was the best, and also, there's just something cool. There's something romantic about the island right here and Ted's history up here, using the old vintage equipment to make the Golden Krispies. It's just very special, y'all. So, we're gonna close it out right here. Thank you guys for tuning in to this walleye episode. Next, we are going after the bronze back. I am the most excited about the fish catching aspect is these smallmouth busting out all my baits that I've been waiting to bring up here and try to catch a bunch of them. So stay tuned for the next episode and I'll see you guys then.
That's this really breaks apart. Got a, got a fly fart. <laughs> <laughs> 